Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. And this is your first time here. I'm Chef Azara and this is my kitchen. So today it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. I'm gonna be making tacos. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make an entire spread from beginning to end, starting with margaritas, appetizers, and tacos and all the sides. So if you're interested in vegan taco Tuesday, stay tuned. So I'm gonna take some lime and I'm just gonna zest it into here. Now zesting means basically just taking the lime and scraping it across the cheese grater until the outer edge just comes off. You don't want it to get down to the white part because that's like the bitter part. And you just want the green part. It looks like not much is coming off, but it is. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take some oranges and do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna get some orange zest. Ooh. <laughs> Now, I also added a pinch of salt to my sugar. I personally do not care for salt on my rim when I drink a margarita, but I do like a little bit of saltiness. It's weird. So I added just a pinch of salt to the sugar, and look at that. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> it just like leveled up your salt sugar game. You can do this also to salt too. You can add some fresh citrus just to it, just to spice it up a little bit. So we have that. Let me go ahead and put that to the side. All right. so. Obviously, I have two chilled glasses. I have some chilled tequila. You can use whatever type of tequila of your choice. And I also have some ice over here, lime, and I also have some simple syrup that I made. Now, simple syrup is just equal parts water and sugar put into a pot and then bring it to a boil and let it cool. So, oh wait, that's in the fridge too, hold on. Shoot, <sighs> so thick, Jesus. Barely make it through, okay. <laughs> All right, so I have my little shaker. So I'm gonna take some ice and pour into my shaker. Okay. And then I have some tequila. I'm gonna use an ounce and a half. Actually, I'm gonna use three ounces since I'm making two drinks. Is this a screw top? How do you get this off? I can't get it. I can't get it. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna start with some ice. Then I have my tequila. <laughs> so I'm gonna use three ounces of this. So basically just three shot glasses. I think that's three ounces. So this is enough for two, just to be clear. This is not one drink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so then I'm gonna add two ounces of simple syrup. So I'm gonna use two ounces of that. Now, I'm gonna show y'all how you can like easily juice limes. For the most part, people usually just cut it in half and try to squeeze it, but you can barely get any juice out like that. So you wanna first wanna just start by rolling it, cutting it in half lengthwise. Oh baby, no. <laughs> that's, that's like a butter knife. And then we're gonna cut it in half again, lengthwise. Oh, oh. Mm, Mercer, you never fail me. Okay. So then when you have smaller segments, it's easier to juice. Now this is my way to make a margarita. Obviously you can use um, triple sec and, and margarita mix, but this way is so simple and refreshing and it's just amazing. Now I'm gonna take the juice of an orange, the same orange that I zested. Now this is done, so we can give this a little shake. I have my sugar, I have my margarita mix, and now I'm gonna go ahead and rim my glasses. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a wedge of a lime and move across the rim, and then just dip it in there. Mm. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna add some ice. <laughs> So a beautiful, traditional margarita <laughs> made from scratch. And it's vegan, because there's no meat in this. <laughs> mm. 
I swear I don't be gassing myself, but everything I make is lit. Mm. Oh my god. I don't be gassing myself, but that's really freaking tasty. So all right, so that's the drink that you can make first to start off your guests for Taco Tuesday. And next, I'm gonna show y'all how to make a cute little appetizer, guacamole my way. Now, a lot of people say, I don't like guacamole, I don't like guacamole. Yes, you do. You just gotta make it like this, okay? So I'm gonna put y'all on. First, you're gonna need some avocados, tomato, jalapeno, <laughs> and onion, cilantro, and then salt and pepper. All right, so now it's guacamole time. So you already made your drinks. Boom. So now it's time to like, you know, keep it spicy, but a little bit of an appetizer. So now we're going to start making our guacamole. This will be enough guacamole to feed maybe two people. So think about, um, consider doubling up the recipe if this is for your family. So I'm going to use about a fourth of this onion. So we're just going to dice this. I use a pretty small dice for your guacamole just because you don't want it to overpower it just with two large chunks of onion in your mouth it's just not right and I've already showed you guys how to dice a million times by now <laughs> and if you haven't seen my other videos then just go watch a few of those and you can sh just learn the technique and basic technique on how to dice all right so next our jalapeno so we're just gonna cut the top off cut it in half and we're gonna remove the vein and the seeds out of this just because I don't really want it that spicy. So I'm just gonna cut it in half again and then just kinda of use your knife and be careful and slice this vein out. So from here, I'm just gonna cut into strips. Take those strips and then dice them. Next, we have our tomato. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Cut it in half again. And we're gonna remove the seeds from this by just taking our knife and just cut it out just like that. Now we're gonna take these and cut into strips also. Now, the cilantro. We're gonna need a lot of cilantro for the whole meal. So we're not gonna use all of this, but we're just gonna put it in the container just like this as well. Now we're ready to make the guacamole. Now, we're going to take our avocado, just take your knife, and just basically just <laughs> pierce the avocado like that and then just turn it. And you basically want the knife to go and connect to that same initial cut. Better. That's a beautiful avocado. She. <laughs> Get out of my face. Alright. So, again, we're going to de-seed it and then just scoop out the avocado like that break it down a little bit and then we're gonna start adding the ingredients now it's important about the order that you add these ingredients to because if you add the onions first and mash this all up into that your guacamole is gonna just be overpowered by the taste of onion so the first thing that we're gonna add is our tomato we're gonna add our jalapeno two segments of lime we're gonna juice that in there go ahead and give that a stir I used to like hate guacamole until I made it myself. For whatever reason, every time I go to a restaurant, it's just, just kind of bland or it's just something about it. The texture's weird. But whenever I make it at home myself, I can keep it really chunky and I put all the right ingredients in there. So I'll make it just like this and I promise you, you'll like it too. So now we're gonna add some cilantro and some of our onion. I'm not gonna add all of that. And then give it a stir. You don't have to mash it, just stir it at this point. And then we're just going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. One final stir. So maybe I'm just going to use some regular, what are these? Sea salt and lime chips. And then you can just pop this out. The drinks and guacamole for your appetizer. This will be the appetizer. And now we're going to move on to our tacos. Let's get this to the side. All right, so now it's taco time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping all of the vegetables that I need for tacos. So the meat that I'm gonna be using today for the vegan tacos, I know a lot of people are just gonna be like, eh, don't use all the processed foods. Like, I'd, I'd use it in moderation just because I'm new to this whole vegan life. And whatever you gotta to do to transition into that lifestyle, 
to make that easier for you then do it so this is the meat that i'm going to be using it's impossible beef but and it's vegan it's made from plants a whole bunch of protein in here because i'm trying to you know maintain my thickness so i'm not trying to eat the tortilla with onions and peppers like i'm not doing that that is just not giving me taco vibes so i need that so <laughs> i have that and then i also have this soy riza that i'm going to be using for our charl beans so back to the tacos i'm going to go ahead and start cutting some onions bell peppers and jalapenos that we're going to saute inside of our meat mixture so this doesn't have to be as small of okay bell pepper onions bell pepper and then our jalapeno All right, so those are the veggies for the taco, done. All right, so now we have the vegetables, which are the onions, the bell peppers, and the jalapenos already diced. So I, over here, I have a medium sized skillet that I'm gonna go ahead and heat on medium high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna heat that up. As soon as that comes, like heats up a little bit, I'm gonna add all the veggies in there and just saute them for a couple minutes until they're soft. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our ground beef. Hey, y'all, it's crazy because it looks like beef. Like, and when you cook it, it turns brown. <laughs> like, I don't know, beats me. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it tastes just like beef. <clears throat> Ow! All right, so I'm gonna add my vegetables to this and then I'm just going to saute those for just a few minutes now we're going to season this we're going to season this with a little bit of obviously some salt and pepper you're not going to add and need much salt though because you're going to be adding the taco seasoning to this and that already has a pretty high salt content so you don't want to overdo it and then we're going to add about half of the taco seasoning now and then we're going to add the other half whenever we are cooking the beef all right cool now we don't want this to get too soft because like i said i want my beef to have a little bit more texture than just like tumbled up brown beef so Cook it maybe for a couple more minutes. And while it's continuing to cook for a couple more minutes, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay, so now I'm going to add my vegan beef to this. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the seasoning mix. Now, I just use like a taco kit, you guys. So, you can go through all the trouble of making like a taco blend if you'd like, but I just use a taco kit and I just use the packet that comes with it. Which is vegan, so. So next, I'm gonna show you guys the steps to make our charro beans. We're gonna leave the seeds in there. So just cut it into fours. The whole goal is to just get these into dices. Right back to the side. I'm going to use half of this onion. Hey, get back in there. So we're just going to go ahead and cut them into strips and then also cut these bell peppers into a dice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the last bit of this cilantro. And I'm gonna use half of it for the rice, half of it for the beans. 
our beef fire tacos is looking really good. It'll be done maybe about another three, two or three minutes of cooking. And then we're just gonna add a little water in there. Mm. Turn this on for our tacos. We're gonna go ahead and have a, like a, a large pot that we're gonna go ahead and start cooking our beans in. So we're gonna turn that on medium high heat. And I'm gonna add in just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna be using Frida's Soy Riso. This is my first time using this, so I have no idea how it tastes, but I really am excited to see if it gives it that, that taste, the same taste that chorizo would have given it. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Knife is so shut. <laughs> if anyone knows what regular chorizo looks like, that's about the same color. <laughs> It's giving me the same vibe as far as texture too. It just looks, let's move on. So we're gonna use about half of the chorizo. So we're just gonna cut this chorizo down a little bit. So while that's cooking, I want to show you guys a really easy way to actually that. From there, I'm going to go ahead and add the bell peppers and the onion. And we're going to saute that. To the chorizo and the peppers, we're going to add a half of a tablespoon of garlic. And this is how it should look when it's done. The liquid is kind of reduced out. You have a nice, moist meat mixture. Super flavorful. And you're not even gonna be able to tell that this is vegan. So we're gonna turn that off and slide that to the back. And then regain our focus on these vegetables. So here, we're gonna take pinto beans. Mm. Oh no, I lied. We're gonna take our tomatoes and go ahead and add the tomatoes in. Now these are the fresh tomatoes. And then we're gonna add some fire roasted diced red potato tomatoes. About a fourth of a cup. And then last but not least, we have two cans of pinto beans. Now this is the eight ounce cans. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm go ahead and give it a really good stir. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna show y'all an easy, really easy recipe on how to make some regular basic white rice. Like nice, nice. <laughs> All right, so that just rhymed for no reason. Like, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> All right, so this is some sasson. You can use like, this is the tropical one. I think they have a, a a half of a tablespoon of that in there. Some dried parsley flakes. Some onion powder. About a half of a teaspoon. Some garlic powder. Okay. A little bit of salt. And then some fresh cracked, fresh cracked black pepper. And then at this point, we're just gonna let this simmer for about 15 more minutes and then taste it at that point. So if it needs a little bit more seasonings at the end, then we'll add it then. Cilantro lime rice. All right, so I already have some rice cooked from earlier. Now this is some simple boil in a bag rice or you can just cook you some white rice. Or you can use brown if you'd like. And then we have the cilantro here from earlier that we're gonna add. So we have the cilantro there, a little bit of freshly cracked pepper, or salt rather, and freshly cracked black pepper. This taco meat looks so good. It doesn't even look like anything vegan. Like You, you couldn't convince someone that this was vegan. Girl! Everything's done, y'all. The entire spread is complete. So, and all of it's vegan. So here we have 
our charo beans, which look incredible. Like, I'm so proud of them. Some cilantro lime rice. Obviously, we have all the toppings that you would need for tacos, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, um, vegan cheese. To, um, this is mild salsa, avocado, lime, and then instead of iceberg lettuce, I use some spinach. And then I also have our guacamole over here. And then we have our taco meat. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and put a taco together and enjoy my food. So we're gonna add some greens to that. And then I'm gonna add some tomato. Some fresh onion. And cheese. And a piece of avocado on top. So we have our tacos here, cilantro on rice, our charo beans, and our guacamole. So you have an entire spread here, like from beginning to end, three courses. Wait, is that three courses? Appetizer, rice, beef, mm-hmm. And drink for dessert. So everything's done, and now time to taste. So I'm gonna take some of my rice, just a little bit, my cilantro on rice, and some of these charo beans. <laughs> oh my God, they look amazing. Up here, and then my taco. I'm gonna taste this rice and beans first, together. Oh, my mouth watering. <laughs> Damn. Oops. So good. Like, and compare it to like regular chorizo, which has like bacon. Oh, I'm sorry, regular charo beans, which has like bacon and chorizo in it. That's better. Because now I can eat it with a clean conscience. Mm. So, taco time. Taco. Add some saucy sauce. <laughs> Let's go pour it on there. <laughs> Who wants me to eat cute? Let me practice to eat cute. Mm. Mm. So tasty. Delectable. Screw that. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Mm hmm. It's so good. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> good food just literally <sighs> makes me so happy. <laughs> so yeah, there I have it, y'all. Oh, let me taste the margarita on camera. Take a little sippy sip. Mm -hmm. And y'all, as you can see, there's something on my lip. Oh, that's my pimple. I saw it in my eyes. Embarrassing. Anyway, so. As y'all can see, I added a peach popsicle in here. It's just the exact same recipe that I gave y'all earlier. But I just chopped up a popsicle and put in here as like the ice. So it's making it like a peach margarita. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. That's a $15 margarita right there. <laughs> and it's vegan. Y'all, I'm so happy. This is, I think this is my favorite episode because it's margaritas and tacos. Like, that's a girl's best friend. So, thank y'all so much for watching this far. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you thumbs up this, comment, and tell me what you thought. And then make sure you subscribe so you can get a hold of all of my videos and get notifications whenever I post one. So, again, thank you for coming and joining me in my kitchen, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>